Konami may have run the Metal Gear series into the ground after parting ways with Kojima in less than amicable terms, but Metal Gear fans do still have something to look forward to. I'm of course talking about the upcoming Metal Gear Solid movie, directed by Jordan Vogt Roberts, who has ousted himself as a genuine Metal Gear superfan. Not only has he expressed incredible passion for this project, having revealed that he fought to helm this movie, he also got the approval of Kojima himself, who went on record to say that he doesn't think anyone else can make this movie. Now, if you've been following his Twitter account, then you'll know that for the past few weeks, Jordan has been going out of his way to post a new piece of Metal Gear related artwork as part of his celebration for Metal Gear's 31st anniversary. While these concept art pieces are far from representative of what we'll actually see in the final movie given they are surreal amalgamations of multiple entries in the series, they are very much related to the project, acting as exploration pieces to get a feel for the kinds of visuals they can pursue when production begins. Honestly, you have to look at some of this stuff. Lots of talent clearly went behind all of this artwork, and I think it's only fair that I show them to you in this video. Now, there is a more pressing point that I want to get to, but I'll do that after I feature some of this incredible art. If you wish to skip to the video's main point, though, just go to the timestamp shown on the screen right now. Anyway, just sit back, relax, and check out some of this concept imagery that Jordan is using to inform the direction of his upcoming film. So there you have it folks, all of this art represents 26 out of 31 days worth of celebration for Metal Gear's 31st anniversary. Which brings us to day 27, during which an image was posted showcasing what I think may be the most tangible look we have of what Snake could look like in the movie. I'd like to begin by highlighting the message Jordan attached to this tweet which reads, quote, I worked with Joseph Cross on Kong and Destiny. These are very early renders of accurately replicating Snake's iconic wardrobe and other Metal Gear Solid inspired designs. I found Ivan Chanthera through this celebration and he played with a few horror driven concepts. It is worth noting that Jordan does call these renders to accurately replicate wardrobe potentially indicating that we are looking at tangible, potential costume designs that will be used in the film. So here are the renders in question in all their glory, pretty badass wouldn't you say? Most noteworthy of all is Solid Snake himself on the right here, while the render shown in this image definitely takes some creative liberties with the sneaking suit, it is definitely something you can imagine seeing in a Metal Gear Solid game. 
Most impressive of all is Solid Snake's general appearance. Honestly, if they can hire the right actor and give him this exact hairstyle and this exact bandana, they'll have pretty much nailed the look of the character. These are renders though, so I'd be truly surprised if they capture the look this perfectly in the actual movie. But this is certainly a great point of reference to work with. Panning to the left here, we've got artwork for two other outfits Snake has worn throughout the series. This one is undoubtedly the sneaking suit Solid Snake uses in the tanker chapter of Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, and the one on the right resembles what Big Boss wears during the events of Peace Walker and Ground Zeroes. So again, we're seeing Jordan explore the full spectrum of the Metal Gear timeline rather than focusing on one particular game. We do see a callback to Metal Gear Solid 1 though with this image of what is clearly a genome soldier wearing winter clothes, which is for the most part quite faithful to their appearance in Metal Gear Solid 1. If Jordan intends to show genome soldiers in this movie, I'd say this costume design is a keeper. On top of all that, we also get to see the Foxhound logo prominently featured on the genome soldier's shoulder sleeve insignia, as well as on this hood being worn on top of a suit that bears some passing resemblances to Solid Snake's MGS-1 stealth suit. Speaking of that suit, after these renders were posted, concerned that an accurate representation of it isn't anywhere to be seen here, one Twitter user asked Jordan to not stray too far from Snake's iconic MGS-1 look in the final movie. To that, Jordan did assure that he and his team do have renders for that suit as well, though he noted that there aren't enough days left on this 31-day art showcase to share them. But for those thinking that visuals for Solid Snake's MGS-1 sneaking suit aren't being explored, it looks like you can rest easy knowing that's far from the truth. Also, do keep in mind that these are all early renders, so nothing shown is fully representative of what we'll see on screen, and a couple of these renders seem to be Jordan and crew just playing around with imagery, with Jordan noting how some of these was one of the artists playing around with horror-driven concepts. But all this does give us a general feel for what the production team is aiming for, particularly with this Solid Snake render on the side, and so far, I do like everything that I'm seeing as far as concept visuals go. It will be a while before we see our first trailer for this movie though, it was only recently that Jordan turned in the script for the movie from what he said in an interview with website IGN. Nobody's been cast yet from the looks of it and principal photography is still some ways away. So yeah, we'll have to be patient. Until then though, I'd love to hear what you think about all the concept art and renders we have seen so far, as well as what your hopes and dreams are for this movie in the comments below. With that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy my content and would like to support this channel directly, consider donating on Patreon. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.